The Analysis tab in the Analysis window is a great way to find information on the words in the verse that you're studying, or translation notes that are provided for many translations. The Analysis window updates when you run your mouse cursor over words in a Greek or Hebrew text. What it displays in the Analysis window is the word as it appears in your verse, parsing information for the word, the lemma or lexical form of the word, and then an entry for the word in a lexicon below. A number of versions in BibleWorks are tagged for Strong's numbers. Strong's numbers are what allow you to see pop-up word tips for some English translations. And they can also be shown within the text if you toggle on Strong's numbers using this button here. So the word or Strong's number will display information in the Analysis tab. When you hold your mouse cursor over these tagged translations, you'll see the underlying Greek or Hebrew word in the Analysis tab. Below that will be an Enhanced Strong's Dictionary entry for the King James and New King James Version, or the Holman Christian Standard Bible. And for the New American Standard Version in the NAS, or NAU, it will be the New American Standard Strong's Dictionary. If it's an English version that isn't tagged with Strong's numbers, like the ESV, you'll see there in the Analysis tab, Translation Notes for that particular verse that you're viewing in the Browse window. It is found in the Analysis window under XREFs, standing for Cross References. There are several cross-reference systems available in this tab. You can choose other systems by clicking on the drop-down arrow in this field here. For example, when we click on the ESV one here, we are now viewing the cross-references developed by the publishers of the ESV version. And for non-English translations that are listed as having codes, you'll also get information there. But notice if you right-click in the Analysis window, you can change the default Strong's language. So if you're studying a Russian translation, like the RST, you can then mouse over words and have the information in Russian. And that information, if you have the word tips toggled on, will display in Russian as well. You'll see that there's a default Strong's language for English, French, German, Dutch, and Russian, some being New Testament only. When you display this information in the Analysis tab, you can right-click and choose Copy Analysis Window Text to Clipboard. That'll copy the text of the Analysis Window, and you can paste it into a word processor or the editor. As the Analysis tab updates whenever you hold your mouse cursor over different words or move your mouse cursor throughout the Browse window, you can hold down the Shift key to freeze the Analysis Window on that word. Then you can move your mouse cursor over into the Analysis Window to interact with the information that's there. Thus, when you hold down the Shift key, you can move your mouse all over the Browse window, and it won't update until you release the Shift key. An alternative to using the Shift key to freeze is right-clicking in the Analysis window and choosing the option to update only when Shift key depressed. So if you're studying a word or verse, and you wish to keep that information on screen while you're studying it, then the analysis window won't update until you put your mouse cursor on a word and hit shift. And just drag the mouse cursor over the word. When you want to go back to normal operation, right click in the analysis tab and uncheck update only when shift key depressed. BibleWorks has a default setting of using the Danker lexicon for Greek or the Holiday lexicon for Hebrew when you mouse over words. But you can change this default lexicon by right-clicking in the Analysis tab and choosing Default Analysis Window Greek Lexicons. Then if you switch to another lexicon, and again mouse over words, it'll have changed from the Danker lexicon to the lexicon that you've just set it to. But a new feature in BibleWorks 10 allows you to have multiple lexicons chosen, so notice that the Danker lexicon still appears there below. So you can right-click 
choose Default Analysis Window Greek Lexicons, and check or uncheck multiple lexicons to your liking. Remember that the analysis window will then update when you again hold your mouse cursor over a word. When you're working with Hebrew and you mouse over a Hebrew word, the default is the holiday lexicon, but you can right click, choose default analysis window Hebrew lexicon, and choose other options that might be available to you there. So the Analysis tab is a quick way to find parsing information or lexical information on a given word. 